the moment. And now time to bring you news on what else has happened on what's been a very busy day at the Crucible. We start with news of the defending champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan, who began the day with a 6-2 lead against Iranian qualifier Hussein Vafai. Well, the Rocket was in no mood to hang around and won seven frames on the trot to seal a 13-2 victory with a session to spare. And after all the pre-match hype and war of words, it was heartwarming to see a warm embrace between the pair after the match was over. Each match is just a pleasure to be involved in at the Crucible. You know, win or lose, you know, you just want to be out there playing and enjoying it playing some good snook if you can. It's very hard because they're long matches. I was feeling like I was playing with the computer, you know, every time it was landing perfect, safety perfect. I said I had to compete with this guy on the table. So, yeah, he was just he was just too good because he'd been in that kind of situation 30 years. Sometimes things happen, you know, and yeah, so what, he's missed the balls up. It's not, it's, not, it's not the worst, you know. It's more important things in life, really. And I said, calm on. And they said, give me a hug, and then we give each other a hug, and that's OK, you know. You can't force relationship to work or not work, but um, hopefully that's put to bed now, um, and we can move on, you know. Uh, oh, I wish he wins the tournament one day, you know. He's great, good for the game, good player. For me, it's now kind of... This is where it gets exciting, you know. have got uh, just over a week to go, vir virtually playing nearly every day now. Um, this is where the grind starts. Um, yeah, it just gets, gets better now. 